What's up guys, Wally here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. Over the past three weeks, I've been taking the course and I have finally completed the program. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I'm going to be sharing my experience completing the certificate. We're going to go over my initial thoughts on the program, what you stand to learn from the eight course series, what areas to focus on depending on your competency, how to finish the course in record time, and my final thoughts and recommendations. Before we jump into the video, I want to say a big shout out to all the new subscribers we've had over the last couple of weeks, and also to the people that reached out via emails and comments and asked that I make this video. So let's jump in. Google has said by 2025, 50% of its employees will require upskilling, and in a bid to bridge that gap, Google launched several career certificate to potentially train aspiring job seekers on the obtainable skills for the future. One of such certificates is the Google Data Analytics program. And after months of the program launch, I finally took the bold step to enroll and I'm so excited to share what the program is like with you guys. When you first decide to enroll, you must think of how much time you're willing to dedicate to completing the program. So many times I've seen people enroll for programs and they never get to the end of the certificate. As of the time of making this video, there are over 150,000 people enrolled for the first course. And what I noticed while moving through the program was the number kept reducing as I kept moving into the later stages of the program. It is as though lots of people got in and are just stuck somewhere in the middle. Only about 10,000 people worldwide have actually completed the program, which is less than 10% of the total number of participants enrolled for the first course. So I think if you must take the program, then commit to going all the way until you earn the certificate. I'm going to give a few tricks to how to finish in record time later in the video. Another reason to go all the way if you decide to start is there's really no value in not completing the program because once your subscription is done, you will not have access to the program unless you renew your subscription. So technically, all your hard work is gone and although you get a course completion certificate as you complete each of the eight course series, I do not think the individual course completion certificate carries any significant weight on its own. First off is you will gain an understanding of the practices and processes used by junior or associate data analysts in their day-to-day -day job. You will also understand how to clean, organize, and transform data for analysis, visualize and present your findings in dashboards and presentations. So course one and two is really about the foundation and an introduction to data analysis. It talks about how organizations need data analysts to help them improve their processes, identify opportunities and trends, launch new products and make thoughtful decisions. Course two builds on the topic that was covered in course one, by taking you through critical thinking on how to ask effective questions to make data-driven decisions. For me, this was really introductory and I found it a bit boring listening through. Um, there's an option to speed ramp through course one and two if you're not a beginner. If you score 100%, you'll be allowed to move to course two and then also to course three. I recommend taking the speed ramp option to gauge your level of competency and also save some time. But if you are new to the field, then it probably makes sense to follow on as the program is structured such that you can gradually build your a firm understanding of the concepts. Course 3 was where we really started getting into the gist of the program. This is where you get introduced to using spreadsheets and to extract organized data. Course 4 and 5 follows on the foundations laid in Course 3. You get to expand on your data cleaning techniques using spreadsheets and applies SQL queries to cleaning and transforming data and learn how to complete calculations using SQL queries. This is also where you'll learn how to build your resume and edit your LinkedIn profile and also set up your professional network. Course 6 is where you get to learn how to create visual dashboards using Tableau. This course stood out for me as the best course out of the 8 course series because of the vast array of resources provided. I found myself bookmarking most of the links to the websites and blog posts on visualizations. You will learn about McCandless method of visualization as well as the other wonderful visualizations that would spark some creative thoughts. While at that, you will learn how to tell stories with your visualizations and create effective presentations about the findings of your analysis. 
Cost 7 is about analyzing, organizing, and visualizing data with R using R packages. You'll learn about Tidyverse, ggplot2, and much like other parts of the course, even if you do not have any programming language experience, the pace at which the course is being delivered will make it easy for anyone to grasp. Course 8 is the final piece of the puzzle. You put together everything you have learned and tackle a case study. Here you learn how to take on other projects in the future. There are also resources that will help you build a project portfolio and also suggest ideas of projects that you can take on. On the course summary, it states that this course is expected to take you approximately six months to complete at a suggested pace of 10 hours a week. I find this to be completely inaccurate as some of the time allotted for reading materials were, and practice quizzes were grossly inflated. The video materials and the reading materials go hand in hand, so some of the concepts you watch on the video are repeated in the reading material. I personally learn better watching videos, so my focus was on the video material and I usually just skim through the reading materials. I also made sure I watched my videos at 1.5 speed at least because there were a lot of pauses between each sentences. For every course, you have weekly ungraded practice quizzes and graded assignments. For the practice quizzes, you can complete them as many times as possible while you can only complete the graded assignment for a maximum of three times every eight hours if you do not meet the pass mark. So my strategy was when I start each week, I typically just go to the graded assignment and complete it at first try. If I pass the quiz, I can just move on to the next week. And if I get some questions wrong, I'll only have to focus on those areas and then retake the test. I recommend this strategy if you are, if you were not a beginner, if you're new, it is better to, not to rush through it, follow through and build your competence gradually. I feel like Google did put in a lot of thought and work into making this course as easily digestible as possible. It is well structured with lots of project based questions built into the quizzes. I love that they only focused on areas that are important in solving everyday business tasks. So even though you are going to learn about spreadsheets and SQL, you only learn it in a way that leads to a business problem being solved. I recommend this program for an entry level or someone who is looking to switch into a data analyst role. If you have over two years experience in data analysis, you can still take the program. The first five courses might be a waste of time, but I believe you find some value in course six six, seven, and eight. The only major downside for me is the fact that the Career Help Center only applies to candidates that are eligible to work in the US. So non-US residents will not be able to take advantage of the job offering. Nonetheless, for $39 a month, I feel the benefit outweighs the downside. So if you have some spare cash and you want to give data analysis a shot, this is your shot. If you got any value out of this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.